usually outside of COVID-19, absolutely gimmicky and horrendous. Now, of course, you can't open a sheet mask without doing the smell test. <laughs> Hey team, welcome to today's video. We know the opening sequence of this, it's a Monday, therefore it is a review type deal. Today we're going to be looking at another sheet mask, another hydrating sheet mask, but this time around it's from Olay. Before I jump in, make sure you subscribe, hit the like, all of that stuff. And if you do watch this to the end and you like what you see, don't be afraid to leave me a comment. My name is Hayden. I am by day a group exercise instructor as well as a businessman or an office worker usually outside of COVID-19, which means I need to take care of my skin because I sweat for a living most days. If you're a returning team member, you know I've done quite a few skincare products over my time on YouTube, including face masks, serums, scrubs, etc., etc. the list goes on. But if you're brand new here, I'm a very big advocate for skincare, especially for men's skincare. Now the product that I'm looking at today it's not specifically geared towards men, but before I jump in and reveal the product, I want to point out the elephant in the room. I do have a beard. So when I apply a face mask, obviously it's, well, if it's not obvious, it is now, face masks don't generally stick to men's beards. So when I do apply it and all of this area is hanging off, I'm not giving any feedback on that area of my face. I'm only giving feedback on the areas in which the mask has adhered. Side note, not sponsored. This is not a sponsored video, just my thoughts and opinions. So here is what we are looking at today, Olay. It is a advanced hydrating sheet mask. It's the Magna Masks range. Now I do apologize if the light drops in and out. I'm using natural light from the windows and it is a little overcast. So there will be points in time where I'm brighter or darker. Getting back to our face mask. This is what the packaging looks like. As you can see, it has not been opened. It's still got the seal on the back. Now this retails for around, I got this one on special from my local drugstore. It retails for anywhere between five to $15. I believe I paid $10 for this. For one sheet mask, it says one times 24 grams on the bottom. So you are getting 24 grams of product with your purchase within this mask. Even though I haven't opened it yet, it does feel quite thick. So I'm, I've got high hopes that you're going to get a lot of product. So you're going to get your money's worth. What does it do or what does it claim to do? It is a concentrated formula to help tackle dryness and roughness and reveal plump, hydrated skin. It's got amino peptides, it's got niacinamide, and it's got vitamin E. Compatible with Olay's magnetic infuser. Now, I don't have a magnetic infuser. I don't know what a magnetic infuser is, but it's compatible anyway. It says it's a sheet mask that's suitable for all face shapes, covers all key areas, including around the eye. Now I did actually look up some reviews on this before I made my purchase when I was browsing through the skincare aisle. And let me just say, it does rate quite highly. So when you flip the packaging over, there are three main headings. The first one being what it does. Awaken to fresh and hydrated looking skin. Continued usage will help remove will, sorry, will continued usage will help reveal smoother, plumper and hydrated skin. How it works. Apply to moisturize and refresh your skin. The concentrated formula intensely hydrates and nourishes. That really doesn't explain how it works. It just, it just repeats it's what it's supposed to do. Pairing it with Olay's magne magnetic infuser. Now I'm not gonna read into that because like I mentioned before, I don't have the magnetic infuser, so there's no real point. Directions. Stretch both sides of the mask to fully cover the face and press gently to ensure a good fit. Leave the mask on for 15 minutes, then gently remove it. Okay, so it doesn't say anything about massaging excess product, nor does it say anything about uh, rinsing off or anything like that. So I won't be doing that. I just got out of the shower. I lightly washed my face. I haven't put any moisturizer on. So I am looking quite dry and patchy. I did, however, get a very good night's sleep last night. So 
Hopefully this is going to give me a little bit of an extra boost on top of that. Now over my time on my channel uh, introducing skincare line or skincare product reviews, I have tried quite a few sheet masks. Some have been great, some have been okay, and some have been absolutely gimmicky and horrendous. So I'm hoping this one falls into the first category. This is what it looks like when you open the packaging. It's just a little pouch with a terrible seam at the top. It feels quite thick, like I said before. So just make sure no excess fluid is gonna leak out. Here we go, opening it up. Now, of course, you can't open a sheet mask without doing the smell test. Yeah, smells good. It smells kind of floral, but it also reminds you of like a hair salon. Like all of those aromas in the air, like a mixture of um, conditioner, uh, treatments, you know, essential oils, all of that stuff. It's 100% very, very much floral scented. So if that is an issue for you, it's not overly pungent, but it's there. Here we go, removing it from the pouch. There's no, I've explained this before, <laughs> there's no goopiness, there's no like excess string of fluid. So that's good. It is quite coated. Let's stretch this out and slap it on. Now, now that I've got it in my hands, it is quite slimy. Like, quite slimy. So I know there are people out there who do have, I guess not quite phobias, but they do have issues with certain textures. So keep that in mind. It is quite small, this face mask. Here we go. Now those eye holes are tiny. The hell? Like I explained before, we're only going to be commenting on the areas in which the mask adheres. Obviously, I don't expect it to adhere to my beard. I'm actually just gonna rip that because it's so small. Pressed into the nose, into the cheeks, right down to where the top of my beard is middle of the forehead believe that's as good as it's gonna get now ideally I would cut these off but I ain't gonna do that right now what I will do is set a timer for 15 minutes and we'll be back and there goes our alarm 15 minutes is up Time to peel this off. It says gently peel it off. Now my skin is supposed to be smooth, hydrated and plump. Now obviously it just come off my face. So it's still a little shiny from the liquid. So let's just give it a minute and see what it does. Okay, I am completely dry now. I don't know why I look so white. There we go, that's better. You can see that my skin does have more of a, like a glow to it. it if I get up close, it's not shiny anymore. So the, the moisture has actually absorbed in. So it's not that that's giving me a glow. The mask itself was surprisingly thick and was very drenched in what can only be described as a rich, serum or lotion which was very floral like i explained before very floral like scented or scented floral like it wasn't overly pungent it wasn't in your face but you know it was there it wasn't subtle when it applied to my face it went on quite well i didn't experience any slippage or any peeling uh, like uh, lifting the holes for the eyes and the mouth as you saw were very small but that's probably because it's not made for a man. Does my skin feel smooth afterwards? I'm gonna say yes, it feels very smooth. And I don't know if it's a placebo type thing because you read that it's supposed to make you plump, or it's supposed to give you a plumping effect. 
I have to say that I do feel plumping under here. I will do a side-by-side -side comparison of what my face looked like before I put it on and now. So I'll leave you to decide whether or not there is a visible difference. I myself believe that there is. A lot of the reviews online have stated that the effects of using just one application will last up to two to three days. I'm gonna to have to test it out for myself, but from what I can gather or what I can, ex what I have experienced and can share with you, there has been a physical visible difference. And hopefully you can tell. I feel like my forehead line here is less pronounced than what it was previously. When I had the mask on my face, I can't say that there were any there was any discomfort, although I did experience um, a little bit of, I guess, tingling just around the eyebrow area. Other than that, it was a smooth ride. Out of all the face masks that I have tried previously, I'm gonna have to say that this one sits up there. I will definitely be using that mask again. Now, I'm gonna leave all the information down below if you do wanna check it out for yourself. Once again, it's not a sponsored video. I just like to share my thoughts on skincare, especially when it comes from a man's point of view. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, but most of all, stay tuned and thank you for watching.